Pay Out Laws. We've got so much coming up today. I'm going to be showing you guys on the control pad how to dodge bullets and make fast head kills. I'm going to very quickly show you guys standard FPS for the spin. So some of you guys out there that's using a slightly different layout can also do the exact same moves that I'm doing. We're also going to be putting a few different moves together with the spin just to work on overall agility so it becomes second nature. So it doesn't matter what situation you're in, whether you're just fighting a one-on-one -on -one in free roam or whether you're in a shootout series. And remember guys, practice makes perfect and you're only gonna become a lot more confident in using them. So for some of you guys that are not using standard FPS, if you go into your settings, change it over to standard FPS and you will notice that there are some significant changes. For example, now the A button is responsible for you crouching up and down. And now to run, you have to press the L3 button. And in terms of overall movement guys it doesn't make a great deal of difference it all comes down to what you're most comfortable using and just for the record i do actually only keep mine on standard because that's what works best for me so now if everyone using the standard fps wants to get into the squat position using the a button again we're going to move away from the target we're going to be pushing in l3 for faster movement and again make sure you're flicking the trigger button guys make sure you're not holding on to it and then it should spin quite simply. You don't have to hold on to any buttons here. And again, it's just about building up that muscle memory. Now, what I'm gonna do, cowboys and cowgirls, is I'm gonna be taking this into a quick shootout series. And I'm just gonna be showing you where some of these moves work the best. I mean, the last thing that I want is for some of you guys to run into a showdown series, do a few spins and think you're just gonna kill everybody. It's not that simple, so I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Now, the first thing I want you guys to observe here is not how many headshots I'm landing, but how many times I'm simply avoiding being headshotted. How many times is my movement causing other players to hit me in the body or to miss me altogether? And if you watch very closely, guys, believe me, they're trying, but they're being very unsuccessful. And as you can see, I'm being more elusive than Floyd Mayweather. And I mean, this is another reason, guys, why I'm showing the control pad all the time, because at some point, someone's gonna say, he can't possibly move like that, he must be cheating. However, this is what I'm demonstrating to all you guys out there. If you wanna fight like an elite player, this is the place to be. And if you all grab your control pads, I'm gonna show you how to put some of these combinations together. Now, for some of you guys that have got this move down now, let's just try and add a few more moves to it. Let's try just flicking the LT button while we're generally moving around. And then we'll just throw in a couple of spins. We'll throw in a couple of dives and just see how you get along using these different techniques with the spin. They all go together really well, guys. And again, it just adds to your overall gameplay IQ and the agility of your character. So when you're able to do a few of these moves without practicing them anymore, then you can do it at any given time. And that's when you become more complete. Now, shout out to KE, AKA You Come Here Often, which is an awesome gamer tag, by the way. Thank you very much for conducting some experiments with the ability cards. You've certainly been a debt to the channel. Also, a big shout out to Ajnaira, who accompanied me in some free roam missions, some legendary bounties, and some trader roles. This is certainly my favorite Moonshiner mission, by the way, because it gives you a chance to practice with your sniper skills. And if you missed it before, guys, all my sniper settings are in the most deadly player part one. It is a further insight into how I have my settings, but you do need to go with what you feel comfortable using. Okay, let's look at a few more moves in shootout series, guys. And this is the best way to explain the spin shot. It's pretty much when you don't have any cover around you guys. It's just you and your opponent. You're flicking LT, you're delivering a quick spin, and the rest is history. And as you can see, he can't shoot my head whatsoever. He's trying his best, but I'm just too good at delivering this move. And that's exactly how I want you guys to deliver it. And while we're on the subject, we're gonna look at headshots. Now, even though I've shown you guys how to deliver a perfect headshot in the most deadly player part one, there have still been little haters that have come to the channel accusing me of using an aimbot. Even though part of my job is to track down and expose cheaters. So let's take a close look at this footage. Am I using an aimbot? Let's take a look.
So for all you higher level experts out there that think I'm using an aimbot, let's see what I'm really using. Okay guys, now we've put that one to sleep, let's move on to the next part. And on a serious note guys, cheating is for losers. Learn to fight legit, learn to fight like an elite fighter, and not many other players on the game are gonna cause you problems. There's absolutely no substitute for hard work. Just ask all the tryhards that I've beaten in showdown series that are currently using Cronus Max. Now guys, I have just set up with Patreon and for some of you guys that supports the channel, you're more than welcome to join me on there. I will be using this to discuss the channel's content and the videos that I'm currently working on and I'm very much looking to tailor the channel around the viewers that watch the most so everyone's got a say so in what sort of content is being put out. I will leave the link in the description below and if you do fancy just getting involved in the discussions then you're very much welcome. Now I'm going to be leaving you guys with the combination training that you saw at the beginning of the video. Also remember the best place to practice is Thieves Landing. Let's go for several spins followed sharply with aim, up with dead eye and a shot to the face. And if you like the combination training guys and you're hungry for more then I will be making another tutorial with some serious combinations going on if you think you can hang with it and remember guys the next video coming up is the most deadly player part six free aim you don't want to miss this one it's a big one and if you do want to know where I've been hanging around lately it's been everybody off in hardcore series anyway that's it for this one guys take care and I'll see you all in the next video